Hi Aries, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much. If you are new, please do check the description box below. There's a ton of information there for you. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly um, appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who reached out for personal readings. Thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is greatly, greatly appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the growth of the channel. Thank you so much. Okay, Aries. Let's see what we have for Aries. Second half of August for this general reading. This is a Zodiac Oracle. I hope everybody's doing well last half of summer here okay so this is a zodiac oracle we may get a planet sign or element energy we'll see how that plays into your reading and if you find that this part doesn't resonate for you that's totally fine it's sort of like a little extra bonus rest of the reading may be for you if you resonated with the title and that's why you clicked on it then there's probably something in here for you all right for aries second half of august general reading spirit please thank you so much what kind of energy is around Aries second half of August can we have one card for Aries please spirit thank you so much just one oh earth okay so earth energy here so it could be earth sign you could be dealing with or have that energy some way around you or you could have earth in your chart um, this is Virgo Taurus Capricorn so if you have a family a friend co-worker I mean, you can fit this into a love situation, but it, I will read it as a general reading. But the earth energy here is uh, very practical. It's stable, sturdy, and grounded. It's material. It's um, very slow, sturdy um, energy. Very down-to-earth energy. Earth energy. So being very practical, being very, you know, maybe saving your money, um... Just being very uh, logical and practical and grounded. All right, so let's see. And it's also about you know growth and abundance, prosperity, um, all earthly things, tangible things, monetary things. All right, being very sensible is what I'm getting also. All right, so let's see what your main energy is here for the end of August. Let's see what's going on with you, what's going on with Aries, the second half of August. One card for Aries. What kind of energy are they in? What's going on with them for Aries for this general reading? The second half of August, Spirit, please. Well, we've got two. All right, so this is, okay, when I was uh, pre-shuffling your cards, I did pre-shuffle, cut, meditate before I came on camera, and the words I was getting in my mind were, the messages were status and stature, as in something about your status, and now we have leadership. So you may be taking on a leadership role, uh, maybe becoming a supervisor or a boss or something here where you're taking leadership in some way and you're upgrading your status. So then I was getting those messages of status and stature in some way. And Aries and um, your major arcana is the em emperor. So, and following your dreams here. So some of you could be uh, following your dreams here, becoming a leader in some way, a boss, a manager, um, owning your own business or something of that nature. Definitely following your dreams here, taking a very logical, practical approach as you're doing it, being very le level-headed and grounded as you move on, move forward very slowly. Maybe it's a slow process here. Um, earth energy can also be about learning and growing. So maybe, you know, you've been through school, you've been through college, it's been a long process, but now you're following your dreams and you're becoming that leader of some, in some way, shape or form that you've always wanted to be. And then eight and one is nine, and nine is about being very independent and stable. 
and we have eight and five here. What is that? 13 and that's four. Four is about stability. So, yep, stability and being very independent and prosperous. Wow. So let's see here. Uh, I think I'll have to put this one over here. And I usually do the bottom of the deck. So let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. We have compassion. So maybe you're doing something where you're helping others. Um, you know, you could be becoming a teacher, a nurse, a doctor, a surgeon, something where it involves, you know, having a lot of even a counselor or something where you have compassion for other people. And we have nine and nine, 18, which again equals nine and <laughs> three nine. So very stable, secure, independent energy here. Wow. So let's see. You can see those. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with you. Just curious what's under there. Nature. Wow. <laughs> Nature, and we have earth here. And you know, earth, nature, it's you know the same thing here. So, and then we have perseverance. So maybe you're, you're doing something here to preserve nature, to preserve you know animals, um, being involved in something of that nature here. Nature, wow. So, wow. So again, yep. Press it four again with the stability here. Seven is 11, two. So, you know, making the decision here. Seven, four, two is about making decisions and, you know, balancing things out. Following your dreams, compassion. Wow. So let's see here. If I could fit all these in the screen here. Now let's do this. Okay. All right. Don't usually um, take that many, but something told me to. So, you know, some of you may be being some sort of um, advocate or leader for the perseverance of nature, animals, something like that, following your dreams, having that compassionate heart for, you know, all earthly beings, creatures, and things of that nature. Wow. See how all these cards resonate together. Wow. Maybe you're forming a foundation to preserve nature and animals and all that sort of thing. Okay, so let's see. What kind of energy is Aries in? What's going on with Aries? The first half of August. Leadership. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, and I believe that's in reverse. So, you know, the Knight of Pentacles moves, this is Earth energy, so, you know, usually the uh, Knight in re uh, face up here, he moves very slowly, very, very slowly, you know, slow, steady pace, you know, sometimes doesn't even move here, but now you're in reverse. I feel like, you know, I feel like you're just moving along quickly you know for me i'm taking it as you know this is being very slow slow and practical you know maybe you still are being practical but this energy here is like not even moving very slow now you're just ready to like take off into the night being guided by the stars there following your wish um following your dreams dreams coming true with the stars here gazing up at the stars and just moving forward and following your dream Again, you know, it may, it may still be slow approach here, you know, with uh, learning, growing, um, and that sort of nature. All right, so let's see what other energy is around you. So we have the Six of Swords. So, you know, this is um, air energy. So this is going into a very calmful, peaceful place. Um, I think you already arrived at your destination. You know where you're going. You know what you want to do. You're at peace with yourself. And you're ready to move forward and bring peace and harmony and healing energy to others, to the world, to the earth. All right. 
right, what other energy is around Aries? This is the vice versa deck, and there's images on both sides. So that's why I usually don't shuffle through the whole reading now, but since there's images on both sides, I feel like I have to. So, okay, now we have the Five of Swords air energy. So, you know, the Five of Swords energy is like defeat at all costs, straight up. It's like you don't care about others' feelings. You don't care who you hurt. You know, it's a very selfish energy, ego-driven energy of just getting ahead of all, at all costs. But here, you know, I feel like in reverse, I feel like, I, I don't feel like you're in that energy at all because you go from five to six. So, um, you know, you don't want to hurt anybody on the way here. You just want to do your thing. Um, and just move forward in a very healing, peaceful nature. You know, if you had others around you that thought, you know, you were being kind of, kind of, you know, selfish here, you know, maybe there was a change of heart and now they realize what you're doing is for the good of, you know, like humanity, of the earth. And, and then now they realize that you're just moving forward very peacefully. All right, so let's see. All right, so now we have, we have the emperor, which is your energy. Aries and I was thinking I wouldn't be surprised if the Emperor falls out and I didn't say and here it is and here is the Knight of Cups so you know the Emperor here you know taking control being in that leadership role uh, being in control being that leader here and then you have the Knight of Cups in reverse so I don't feel like you still, you know, have the stars here, so I still feel like you're not at your true destination yet. You know, you're still moving forward, and you're not in that loving, well, you're, I'm not saying you're not a loving person, but you're not in that energy yet where you can really take that positive movement forward and take these loving, compassionate actions and do what you're meant to do. I think here you're still in the process of following your guidance following the stars you're still learning and growing and still heading and moving through the night finally you know sun will rise you know you'll go through your journey now you can live your life full of love and compassion and do the actions that you set out to do if that makes sense all right so let's see what other energy is around you this is your actual situation so I still feel like you're not quite this leadership emperor role yet you're still in the process of learning taking that action movement forward I think you're very in a very honest uh, truthful uh, compassionate heart because um, we have the five of swords in reverse you, you don't want to hurt anybody I mean you're very truthful and honest but you're not going to do anything to um, get ahead by anything that would hurt anybody else. You're, you have a very healing, peaceful nature. But see, these two knights are still traveling in the dark, so you're still learning, you're still growing, you're still going on your journey, you know, in your path, whether you're still going to school or whatever here, but you do have the energy here of the emperor. So you will be this leader that you want to be. You will follow your, this energy here, it's like you're still following your dreams still following that path to your dream it's still in darkness right now because you have not reached the end of your journey in learning and growing to become that leader so now we have the page of pentacles exactly and again with this back so again page of pentacles pentacles are you know monetary material it's education it's learning earth energy again so again I think you know these are all with the back and then all at night like gazing going to the star going to that destination going and achieving your dream that's written in the stars here so still learning and I had said that you're still in the process of going through your learning phase before you become can become this emperor and live out your heart's compassion you're still in the learning phase right now 
So let's see. Let's see for Aries. What is your advice? Two cards. What is your advice in the situation for Aries? Can we have two cards, please? For Aries. Spirit, thank you so much. Just two cards. Okay, just two cards for Aries. Oh, there's one. One more. Okay, so we have so we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you still have a lot of learning left to do here to get to your Ten of Pentacles. You're still in the growing, evolving stage with the Ten of Pentacles. So you know it's in reverse. So it's telling you here to keep going, keep moving forward, uh, passionately. You know this this night here is in the upright is in the uh he's not in reverse he's face up so he's moving forward passionately going after his dreams his desires as in following your dreams here so he definitely is energy here advice skill still keep move forward keep that passion that drive ambition just keep for, moving forward passionately learning growing expanding in your journey here to become this emperor that's your advice wow so let's see what your outcome what is the outcome for aries possible outcome for aries one card please for aries for the end of july what is the possible outcome please okay so we have the lovers so this is, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a, a lover. This is a general reading. And I feel like this is all um, an energy of getting to your life purpose. And the lovers here, and this is in the uh, upright position. So this is, again, being truly aligned to who you are, your life's purpose, your life's destination. Like the angel here, you know, bringing you in, in union with your divine purpose. You're making the conscious choice here. You know what you want to do. You made that decision. You made that choice. You're going on a path of doing what you truly love to do with the lovers here. Divinely guided purpose and path for you. And you will be that divinely guided leader that you want to be and absolutely love and cherish what you do. Wow. All right, so let's get more clarity. Let's get a few more cards. All right, so we have we have death here in reverse. Death in reverse. So this is uh, Scorpio energy. So this is the energy, you know, death is always about transformation. It's about endings and transformation and new beginnings and starting over. And um, so this is, you know, in reverse, an energy of, um, you know, not being willing to end something, uh, not wanting to end something, not wanting to transform. Um, I don't know. Why is death here? Why is death here? So we have the nine of wands, fire energy. So, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe you've had struggles along the way. You know, maybe you've had, you know, this is the wounded warrior. So maybe you've had a hard life before your journey here. Maybe you've had struggles in your childhood. Um, and now it's really important to you to take control, take the leadership leadership in your life to have control in your life. Maybe you didn't have control of your life as a child and how you grew up and all the struggles you went through. And maybe that's why we have death here is you're still on that journey. You're still that wounded warrior. Maybe there's still things from your past, your childhood. Even though you're going in the right direction, you're doing what you want to do. And I don't see that you have like um, anything like ego or anything like that. But whatever that you haven't healed from the past growing up, with the death here, I think um, you really need, and with the wounded warrior, you really need to face those struggles that you've, 
had in the past that's still lurking over you and heal. Heal these wounds of the past, whatever they were for you. All right. And maybe that's where the compassion comes in. Maybe because of your struggles, of the hardships you've had in your childhood, it's given you this uh, compassionate heart. Okay. So let's see. What else? What else? All right. So we have the King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. And we have the Chariot in reverse. So this is air energy and this is cancer energy. So again, with being in reverse here, still heading out into your destination, still following your heart's desire, your passion, your purpose, you're moving forward, but you're not quite there yet. Um, I feel like you, you know, you've taken off, you're on your way, but you're not quite balanced out yet because I think here you still need something in your past, your childhood wounds you need to heal that you need to just let go of and let it die, let it go, heal and transform, heal these wounds out of the past. Then you can move forward in a better, better balanced state of mind and have your success and victory. I think you're still trying to heal and move forward out of, you know, from pa the past, but you're going in the right direction. I see that. Then we have the King of Swords in reverse. So, I mean, this could have been somebody you know, you see the gray hair. It could have been a father figure here with the lightning. Maybe it was very, um, maybe it was a negative um, influence in your life. Because you see the lightning here. Usually the king of swords in reverse is very uh, cold cutting, uh, harsh, uh, can be mean, can be um, untrustworthy, can be um, manipulative and just you know, not a good energy. So if that was, um, and you can see here, there's just a need here to leave that energy behind, to just keep moving forward and heal these wounds of the past so that you can get to your destination, a clear, healed state of mind. I mean, that may not be a message for um, some, but it may be for others. So if parts of this resonate for you, that's for you. If parts don't, then... Again, yeah, see, look at this. Eight of Wands, um, fire energy here. This is uh, communication, action, but it's negative communication. It's, um, I don't know how this person spoke to you, how they treated you. I do not feel like it was in a good energy at all. As you see, the lightning, the darkness. I mean, look at this in the upright is very um, loving, compassionate, energy communication and about growth expansion and moving on and this is a very negative energy here I'm feeling it was a father figure or a father light figure maybe from your past Wow and I, I feel like you're trying to leave that behind you're trying to move forward with your life purpose but I definitely feel like here you there's still some things from your childhood in your past that you need to heal, completely leave behind and heal from so you can completely move forward in the right state of mind into this um, bright future that's ahead of you. All right. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? Spirit, please. Thank you. What else for Aries? So we have, all right, so now we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Again, wow. <laughs> and this is about communication also, but it's not a very loving, compassionate, uh, affectionate sort of communication. It's very negative communication as with the Eight of Wands here. So it wasn't very loving, uplifting, encouraging um, communication between you and that person so now we have the tower this is your energy Aries so I yeah I think there was a complete breakdown argument um, here with this person I, I you probably don't even speak to them anymore um, just very explosive everything torn apart crumbling down but you know 
here's the white dove of peace and harmony. So you can have your own peace of mind and harmony if you, you know, face this of the past and just heal and, you know, move on from it. I think that's what divine want you to do here is to find the peace within yourself out of all this negative energy you see two people two male figures here so i mean if you're a male watching this and you had a male father who was very a very negative influence in your life it may be still lingering in your mind maybe you you don't even realize that there's still things of that energy that you really need to uh, move on and heal from so we have the two of pentacles here in reverse so this is earth energy again so this is finding balance so you can find balance from within you can balance out your life in all aspects because the Sun is on the horizon here which is very healing it's uh, most happiest card in the deck when you get the Sun energy so you can balance out your energies you can have peace and harmony in all ways and see the divine looking down definitely here that you can uh, find that inner peace and healing. Okay. Usually I do the bottom of the deck, so I don't know why I'm shuffling. So, I don't know. Let's see what we have on the bottom. So we have... Let's see what we have here. So we have justice in reverse. So Libra energy. So yeah, I, don't, I still don't think you've gotten your justice from the past, from this relationship with either an old friend or a family member, a father or a father-like family member here. Justice in reverse, you feel, feel like it was a very unjust relationship. You know, this, you know, scales have not been balanced in this situation. The truth has not been spoken. Um, you know, but you have the butterfly here for transformation. So, I mean, transformation can happen and you see the sword here for truth and clarity and you see only one scale so yeah very unjust energy feeling like it wasn't fair wasn't right five of pentacle energy so there's that earth energy and you know feeling abandoned so either maybe you were abandoned by your father maybe you just abandoned the relationship abandoned each other maybe you were neglected you know weren't uh, fairly treated um, Five of Pentacles energy is feeling lonely, left out in the cold, abandoned, neglected. So then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I, th I think you just, you know, maybe you had to take care of yourself a lot of times growing up. Earth energy, again, you know, it's just working hard, mastering your craft. Um, this could be you in the state of mind you're on now, learning, growing into your future, into your destiny, what you're meant to do here. So then, you know, we have Strength in Reverse. This is Leo energy, so... You know, you see how positive this is, you know, taming the beast and having that inner strength and courage. But here, just very negative energy. Um, maybe you couldn't stand up to this person. Maybe you just didn't have the courage and strength to stand up to them. Uh, you see a very evil light presence here. So maybe they just, you know, had this very negative presence and you just could not stand up to them. But we have the Ten of Cups here. So this, you know, is total happiness, fulfillment, love, compassion. So you can have this in your life. You have the rainbow here, whatever that means for you. So, you know, there you can have compassion, love, a fulfillment, happiness, and joy in every way if you find your balance, which you, I see you can. Heal, move on, and... Uh, about your life's purpose so there's a lot going on here for you Aries so I have like different storylines so whatever resonates for you um, Aries all right so let's get some extra guidance and some extra messages for you for the last half of August what do we have for Aries the last half of August Aries, the last half of August, messages and guidance for Aries, the last half of August, spirit please, thank you so much, wow, okay, clean up your mess, okay, well, 
so what I'm getting with this is this situation from the past mentally probably left you a mess, you know, just mentally a mental mess. <laughs> and I don't want to degrade anybody, but that's what I'm getting here. Um, and you have 37, which is 10, which is about endings, and then one is a new beginning. You really need to end and clean up this clutter, this mess in your mind, your emotions, by doing, you know, this healing work and forgiving and he forgiving healing and moving on and letting it go just cleaning it up all out of your mind your space here and moving forward to your new beginning invest in your spirit so and then you have 9 45 is 9 again with being that very stable independent person different uh, meanings for nine stress anxiety uh, wish fulfillment as in follow your dream dream fulfillment and uh, being that wounded warrior with the nine of wands here so invest in your spirit that is invest in who you are invest in your spirit heal your spirit heal the wounds invest in yourself so you can have this growth and abundance that is meant for you when you totally clean and heal in your spirit baby steps bite-sized steps 46 10 endings one new beginning again so taking you know may take baby baby steps but if you take the baby steps you can go in the right direction okay let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here stop okay seven um so I don't know, just in, something here's just telling you to stop, whatever that means for you. Um, maybe it's time to stop resisting the uh, hurts of your past and time to face them so you can heal and move on from them. It's time to stop and invest in your spirit by taking baby steps, cleaning up that mess this person left you in mentally, physically, so that you can have a new beginning and live out your life's purpose with a clear heart, a clear mind, and be that leader that you're meant to be. Some heavy stuff there, Earth. Uh, Earth, yeah. So definitely Earth energy there, um, Aries. So if this resonated for you, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do love to read the comments also, how this resonates for you. Um, you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love, so please don't mess, uh, miss out on that. So, And I just said mess, so yeah, and it's a need here to clean up whatever mess this person left you in, again, in your mind, you know, whatever it is for you. So wishing you lots and lots of luck here in your situation. Good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channels, with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.